Cause they'll tell you so Good work, Thomas. You have done a fine job with those trucks. Thank you, sir, said Thomas. You know me. I can never let you down. Right then, Thomas, I need you to take the trucks you just shunted and take them down to the docks where Cranky shall be loading some honey into them. Then you shall be taking those trucks to the vicar. Yes, sir, but I have one question. Doesn't the vicar have a ton of beehives? Yes, he does, but we have decided that he needs a break, so I got someone else to do it at the other end of Sodor, and we're bringing it to him. And we're Yeah, he does need a break. Bees can be a bother. <laughs> Remember when James got stung on the nose by a bee? <laughs> yeah, said Sir Topham Hatt, laughing. That was funny. Not for James, replied Thomas, laughing as well. He almost screamed his whistle off. I heard that, said James angrily. And anyways, it was a bee who wouldn't scream. Well you, did say, well, you did say that you wouldn't care if hundreds of bees were swarming around you, said Duck, now joining the conversation, and that you could just blow some smoke and they would buzz off. Shut up, burst out James. That was before I knew how awful they are. Hey, said Thomas, chuckling. Remember when James was painted like a bee? That was, that was Percy's fault, yelled James crossly. Sir Topham had decided to let Percy run the island for a bit. That was a great idea. I mean, Percy's just bound to mess it up. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> I'm imagining what you looked like. You sure look splendid. He was so mad that he snorted off. Oh, shoot. I need to get these to the docks. Soon. Oh shoot! Soon Thomas was at the docks. Frankie was waiting for him. Here's your honey, Thomas, he said from above, honey into Thomas's trucks. Then he steamed away. was approaching the fall. The last night had been a little fierce storm, and it had weakened the fence. Thomas was going too fast to even notice the fence broke until it was too late. Stop in a field next to the tracks. Then Thomas heard a familiar factor. Hello, Thomas. Hello, Terry. Boy, I didn't expect the farmer was gonna get another tractor. We might as well put some caterpillar wheels on me, Thomas. Ho 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 ho! It's not funny, Terry. Just go and get help. Alright. Has Thomas arrived yet? asked Sir Topham Hat. No, said the vicar. I haven't seen him all day. Then he must be lost, said Sir Topham Hat. 
We shall find him. Why was Tom supposed to come here in the first place? He was bringing you honey because we thought you deserved a break. Not to be rude, but I've been doing this for so long that I don't really need a break. Hmm. Percy was resting when the fact and trailer arrived. Percy, um, Thomas is missing. I need you to help me find him. Thomas is missing? Oh no! Don't worry, sir. I'll find him. How about more? They search in bridges, quarries, docks and harbors, for no sign of Tom. Hard for a to always the broken things that Tom is Maybe he's down there, sir. Maybe he has to find out the trash. Hmm, of course. You're right, Percy. He must have. I'll go down the hill and see what I can do. So Sir Tom and Matt went downhill and found a few pieces of cargo laying around, and especially the big rock that Thomas crashed through. It's, look, it's Sir Top and Matt. Bust my boiler. It is. You found us. Yes, I need to be fixed. I'm sorry about the honey, though. Don't worry, Thomas. I actually talked to the vicar earlier, and he says he doesn't want to break. Well, that was pointless. Then they heard a familiar whistle. It was James and Harvey. They had just helped clean up the mess. What's that, James? James, I need you to go get the breakdown train. For Thomas? No way. Not after what he said to me this morning. James? <sighs> okay. Harvey, can you help Thomas? Of course, sir. Anything for a friend. Soon Thomas was put in a cargo car and a flatbed, and James set off. As they puffed down the line, Thomas started to apologize to James. I'm sorry about what I said earlier. I definitely deserve this comeuppance. I'm sorry. It's okay, said James. Who wouldn't laugh at that? I mean, you probably don't know this, but I was laughing a little myself. Both engines laughed. Thomas knew that James was right. It was a bit fun. And the two friends puffed 